Hello, yes, vote the fuckers out. The only answer to Muslim grooming. That's right, those councillors in Huddersfield, Rochdale, Rotherham as three examples that have abrogated their responsibility and duty, turned a blind eye and let those girls down. They need voting out, whether or not they're Labour, Conservative or Lib Dem. It doesn't matter. We need to field candidates and vote the fuckers out, right? That will cause, trust me it will, such an uproar in this country and it will bring it to the attention of a wider audience that will sit up and listen and also it'll put the fear of God into the establishment now and also those poor people in them uh, communities that are harassed by Muslim racists and Muslim paedophile rape gangs they'll have a voice they'll have a leader they'll have someone they can look up to right as opposed to Labour, Conservative, Liberals that are just turning a blind eye and letting this happen. And the only way we can achieve this is by voting the fuckers out, by fielding British nationalist candidates, right? That's what they fear. Look what happened in 1993, was it, when Derek Beacon was elected to the Isle of Dogs as a BMP candidate. That made world news, right? And then in the early 2000s, when it was repeated again in uh, Blackburn and Burnley, again it made world news. The establishment, the state, that's also abrogated its duty and responsibility, was terrified, literally terrified. And it continued, more were getting voted in and more were getting voted in. Then two MEPs and so on and so on. And the state was having kittens. And that's why it sent in its dozens and dozens of agent provocateurs to bring the BMP down. In fact, they didn't bring it down. Nick Griffin handed it to them. I'm going to do a video on you soon. Anyway, you're going to be getting on my nerves of late. But anyway, you're another one that's abrogated your responsibility and duty as a British nationalist and also to British nationalism. But that's going to be another video in itself. The alternative to not fielding British nationalist candidates and voting the fuckers out is to assemble the biggest mob. Let's unify the Tommy Robinson Roadshow, the Democratic Football Lads Alliance Roadshow, the Football Lads Alliance, is that a roadshow yet or is that, that fizzling out? I don't know. The Football Lads Alliance, throw Britain first in as well and let's assemble the biggest mob ever and let's go down to Huddersfield and achieve what? Raise hell, get our skull cracked by the coppers, get jailed, people could get injured, could get killed. What's that going to achieve? Fuck all, right? But this is where they want it. They want you on the Tommy Robinson Roadshow. The Democratic Football Lads Alliance Roadshow. The Football Lads Alliance. Is that still a roadshow? Whatever. And Britain first. This is what they want you to do, right? Follow this dead-end nonsense of violence and confrontation and Tommy making plenty of money out of it, no doubt, with his book sales and God knows what else, right? They're laughing at the lot of you, right? They are laughing at the lot of you that are following these snitches and agent provocateurs like Tommy Robinson and Paul Golding and the Football Lads Alliance leaders, whoever they are now, right? So the answer to Muslim grooming is to go into these towns and cities like Newcastle and vote those councillors out that have let those girls down, that have turned a blind eye, abrogated their responsibility and duty. That's the answer to this. If it's not the answer, then what is the answer? Posting articles on Facebook. Let's post an, an article on Facebook. Let's get interviewed by some internet-based uh, group that does the same as everyone else does. Write articles and post them on Facebook. That's not going to get us fucking anywhere. And you all know, especially you, Nick Griffin, right? But anyway, that's another video on itself. So um, that's the answer to it, is to get organised and vote these swines out, these horrible Labour, Lib Dem, Tory, traitors, sellouts, cowards, whatever you want to call them, right, that are responsible for this mess that's happening uh, in our country and to our people, right? We've got to vote the fuckers out. There's no other way around it, and we can. We can easily organise and vote these swines out. Let me just put this to you. You imagine, combined, united, unity is strength, as they say. 
the Tommy Robinson Roadshow, Democratic Football Lads Alliance Roadshow, Football Lads Alliance, whatever that is, whether it's still a roadshow or whatever, I don't know. Add in the uh, throw in the uh, Britain face. You imagine it all united, came together and hit a council estate or council estates um, while fielding British nationalist candidates, right? This coming May, next May, sorry, uh, 2019. You imagine all those bodies, instead of going on your silly marches and then getting pissed afterwards and having a, a bust up and a fight with the police or whoever. You imagine you're dressed to impress, you're knocked on doors. And you said, hello, hello, sir, hello, madam. We're here to represent you. We're here for you, right? The forgotten and beleaguered white working class. We'd be, God, we'd be getting councillors elected by the dozens, trust me, not one or two. We'd be organised and we'd be getting them elected, but our enemies don't want us to do that, right? They want you following the Tommy Robinson Roadshow, right? causing mayhem, raising hell, and achieving fuck all. So let's vote the fuckers out. Okay, thank you. No longer prepared to be treated as second-class citizens in their own country. The British people have had enough. We're going to take our country back. It took us about eight years to get an ass, and if you're a day in the day, it takes you about a week. It doesn't take all the school days, and all the hours is over. I mean, as I said, I voted eight years for a place. It's not fair, is it? So if you wait it that long, and don't give people for eight years and stay in festivals and schools, in the end it, um, it gets on your nerves. I voted for the First National Party. I did vote for them, yes. Because I believe in them. We've got to do something to stand up for ourselves and maybe only people to help us. Fair enough? I've got nothing against the immigrants, but you cannot keep bringing immigrants onto a small place like this with no schooling, no housing, and nothing to accommodate the people who have lived there all their life, growing up to and going there.